Hey guys, quick video in which I want to expand upon lease times for DHCP servers. Now if we look at the settings on my router at home, you'll see that my subnet mask allows for 255 possible addresses that are on my network based on the subnet mask. Therefore, they default to a lease time of one hour. We know this because this is number of seconds and 3600 seconds divided by 60 gives us 60 minutes. So they've got a 60 minute lease time here, which is a good generic value for a router that they don't really know how often it's going to be used. However, I do know that the number of devices in my house are fairly static. I've got about 30 or 40 devices. So one hour really doesn't make sense. These devices aren't going anywhere. And given that there's 255 possible addresses on my subnetwork, and 253 of them are in the dynamic address pool, then I know that there are well over 200 addresses for visitors to use as they come and go. So therefore, I don't need every hour for all the devices on my network to go out and renew their IP addresses uh, as part of their DHCP lease. So I can take the 60 minutes and just go ahead and multiply that back out. So I get back to my 3600 seconds and I can multiply that say by 24 hours in the day and set it to about 86,400, which means it would be leased for one day or 24 hours. But then again, that really doesn't make sense either because my devices just don't change that often. So maybe I might want to set this to a 30 day lease, in which case a little over two and a half million seconds would give us a lease time of 30 days. That means as my devices request an IP address, they get to keep it for basically a month. And we could go as extreme as that, assuming that the DHCP server is happy with an, a value that large. However, let's consider a different situation. Outside of my home, there are plenty of people who are leasing temporarily IP addresses to people that come onto their network. Say, for example, retail locations where maybe a local coffee shop has hundreds of visitors a day who pop in and out for just a few minutes. Maybe even more than that, when you consider the customers who come to the drive through maybe they don't actually enter the building but they get close enough for their smartphone or their tablet to pick up a connection and grab an IP address. Assuming that the subnetwork only has the 253 possible clients, uh, client addresses being given out, then setting it to this large a number would be ridiculous. Um, an IP address would be reserved by someone, kept, and for way too long, and then the DHCP server would quickly run out of addresses. So we'd like to reduce this number down to something that's logical for that situation. So again, looking at the coffee shop, maybe we want to lease everything for an hour. Maybe a 20 minute lease might make more sense. So you can see that depending on the situation, we will set the lease time to be appropriate to the number of IP addresses that are being given out as well as the amount of time we expect someone to keep that address and be on the network. So for example, at home, my IoT devices aren't going anywhere, but at a coffee shop, someone might be in and out in less than two or three minutes.